Hello everyone, I hope that you guys are doing well. So today I am making this video for my apartment because unfortunately I cannot be with you all. Uh, I am currently out of town for this upcoming three day weekend. So what that means is that I am outside of the city of Bogota for a few days. Um, your professor told me that you guys are working on your final upcoming assignment of the semester in which you have to pick a city and your favorite place of that city and describe them. So today I am making this video to show you guys an example of how this assignment should look like. So let's begin. As you guys may know, I am from the United States. Specifically, I am from the city of Washington, D.C. I have lived in Washington, D.C. for about 10 years now. So what that means is that I have been living in Washington, D.C. since 2012. I decided to pick this city, which is my home city, my hometown, to describe to you guys because this is the city that I know well. And if I know something very well, I can explain it with a lot of details. So I highly recommend you guys to pick a city that you know well in order for you guys to do a very good assignment. So Washington DC is the capital city of the United States. Washington DC has a population of 719,000 people who live there. Among those 700,000 people, 40% of them are African American and 46% of them are white people or known as Caucasian. The rest of the demographics are either Hispanic or Asians. As you can see, Washington DC, it is a very diverse city culturally and linguistically. Washington DC is known to be the city of monuments and museums. So in Washington DC, you guys can find a lot of memorials, a lot of museums that talk about the history of the United States. And Washington DC is also the home to the federal government. So this is the place where federal government buildings are located at. So one of the famous landmarks of Washington DC is the White House. The White House is where the President of the United States and his family lives in. So this site, it is very touristic. A lot of people travel from different parts of the world just to come and see the White House. Another famous governmental building that Washington DC is home to is the United States Capitol building. So this building is where the Senate and the House of Representatives gather to make laws or to revoke laws. So what that means is that this is the place where the Senate votes on laws or votes to eradicate or take away some laws. Another thing that Washington DC offers is beautiful architecture. So in the Abraham Lincoln Memorial, we can see the architecture of columns, which was inspired from the Western society of Greece. Abraham Lincoln was a significant president in the history of the United States because he was the person who eradicated slavery. So if slavery was a time that happened in the United States in which a white person owned a black person. And basically black people or African American people did not have any rights. So they didn't have any human rights. They were seen as property and they suffered a lot because of this. So Abraham Lincoln was the president who gave rights to African-American people. 
So this is why the United States decided to dedicate a memorial to Abraham Lincoln. Washington DC also has a monument called the Washington Monument, which was named after the first president of the United States, which was George Washington. So in Washington DC, you guys can also find um, very good museums such as the, the Air Space Museum, um, the African American Museum, the Art Gallery, the uh, Natural History Museum. So all of those museums are free. If you guys ever go to Washington DC, you guys can visit those museums and different monuments for free. So I have talked to you guys about some of the good places that Washington DC has to offer. So I have not talked to you guys about my favorite place of Washington DC. So my favorite place in Washington DC is the Georgetown neighborhood. The Georgetown neighborhood is a beautiful neighborhood in which you can see a different type of architecture. The houses in the Georgetown neighborhood, they are very close to each other and they have this very unique style of architecture, which is called row houses. So row houses are houses that are next to each other and you can see it in this picture. It looks very beautiful everything coexists in harmony in this neighborhood this neighborhood is very clean um, it has a lot of stores nearby and it is also very diverse you can find restaurants from different cultures that offer different kinds of foods and you can also hear many people coming from different parts of the world because you hear a lot of people who speak different languages so this is my favorite place because this neighborhood is linguistically and culturally diverse. Another reason why this is my favorite place in Washington DC is because this neighborhood is the home to the university that I went to. I lived in this neighborhood for three years. I went to the Georgetown University. The Georgetown University is a prestigious university in the United States. Many famous and successful people have gone to this university. Some of them have been Bill Clinton, Bradley Cooper, um, politicians from different countries, uh, and people who work in the government like the Supreme Court Justice and the Senate. The Georgetown University and the Georgetown neighborhood, they have beautiful architecture. They have architecture from the 1700s. These places are very safe for you to hang out at nights or during, or basically at any time of the day. Basically, you can walk in the Georgetown neighborhood at night and nothing will happen to you. You can also walk in the Georgetown University at night and you will be completely safe. So because the Georgetown neighborhood, it is a very beautiful neighborhood with beautiful architecture. It has a lot of diversity linguistically and culturally, and it is a place that is very safe for you to hang out at any given time of the day. So because of all of those things, this is why this is my favorite place in the city of Washington, D.C. I hope that you guys can one day visit Washington, D.C. and enjoy it as much as I do. So this is how your assignment should look like, guys. I hope that you guys have a nice weekend and take care. Bye-bye.